Happening now, the Long Island Railroad will be able to run more trains with the addition of a third track. The first section of that project going into service this morning. CBS News John Diaz has more on what it means for commuters, and he joins us live from New Hyde Park Train Station in Nassau County with more. Hey, John, look out. Good timing. <laughs> Good morning to both of you. Uh, lots of trains passing through here this morning. That one just kind of scared me a little bit. Good morning, though, both of you guys. Uh, some of the first commuters, though, really um, experiencing that third uh, rail. They are benefiting from that third rail. I should say this morning already making their way into Manhattan as we speak. A lot of people uh, hopeful that this will mean that their commute will be a lot smoother for them. Now, this project, it has been in place, you know, uh, the construction of it since 2018 is when it began. And today's unveiling is a huge milestone for this project since it gives the LIRR, though, more operating flexibility, allowing what's called bi directional service during peak hours and for the LIRR to run even more trains. Now, officials say that the third track could boost capacity on the LIRR by as much as 50% and allow trains to recover faster from service disruptions. It will run from Floral Park to Garden City at first, but other portions of the track are expected to open up in the coming months until the nearly 10 mile span reaches Hicksville. Now, again, the commuters are experiencing it for the first time. They are making their way into Manhattan right now as we speak. A lot of people we were speaking with out here, they are excited for this. They are saying that hopefully. Hopefully this will make their commute run smoother. Governor Kathy Hochul and MTA officials, they will be out here at this train station uh, later on today for the first ceremonial ride. We will be here for that and we'll be bringing you the latest. But for now, we are live this morning from New Hyde Park, Long Island. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.